In Trials of Mana there are many subclasses for every character. These subclasses are divided by ranks or tiers, however you want to call it. Each character has 4 ranks, meaning they can be upgraded 3 times. First upgrade is at level 18, as there are two subclasses to choose from. This choice is most relevant, as it significantly impacts further upgrades. For example, Duran's first two choices are Knight and Gladiator. Knight unlocks Tank and Healer focused path, while Gladiator unlocks Damage Dealer path. From level 38 onward, further classes are unlocked. To upgrade characters further you need to get to Sanctuary of Mana point in the story and use the special statue there. Another requirement is to have question mark seeds. These seeds when planted grant special items that unlock two more classes at level 38 and onward. Unlocked classes depend on previous choices. For example, if you went with Knight for Duran at level 18, now you have Paladin and Liege as your choices. To acquire Paladin, you are going to need Knight tag that can be obtained from question mark seed. To get Liege class, you need Prince tag that also drops from question mark seed. If you went Gladiator class at level 18, then from level 38 you can upgrade Duran to Edelfry or Duelist. Each of these two classes also requires specific tag that drops from question mark seed. Final class, the fourth one, is unlocked during post game. Final class also depends on previous choices. In Duran's case, if you went down night path, then your final class will be Divine Hero. If you went down Gladiator path, then your final class will be Berserker. Fourth class is unlocked after you finish the main story, then save the game and then load that same save file. This will continue character progression through some side quests and new dungeon that can't be missed. These side quests unlock final class for each party member. To reset classes you are going to need item called Goddess Scale. This item can be acquired after defeating Benevodon of Darkness during final story section and 5 of them can be obtained in final dungeon during post game. So you can get only 6 per playthrough. By resetting classes your training points are also reset. If you need to respect training points only, without resetting the class, you can do that in Merchant Town. Go to Night Market that is only open at night and speak to Fortune Teller to respect all training points. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this explains some stuff regarding classes in Trials of Mana. Thank you for watching and see you soon.